And our second main topic today gets sent to us by Thomas Patterson, who writes, While No Way Home hasn't played in China and is, making, uh, and is playing in markets with a plethora of restrictions because of COVID, it has become the number four all-time highest grossing film ever domestically. Among superhero films, it is second only to Endgame now in the U.S., Globally, it is going to pass Jurassic World next week with a total of $1.7 billion. We'll see about that. Uh, virtually assured at this point. Not necessarily. Anyway, this makes it the largest superhero film centered around one character ever. Behind only Infinity War and Endgame, what are your thoughts on this film's success? All right, thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And yeah, look. We've been talking a lot about Spider-Man No Way Home for for obvious reasons. It has been right. the biggest thing that has happened in the world of movies and movie theaters and movie fandom in years, literally in years. Like, not since The uh, the Rise of Skywalker. Uh, the Rise of Skywalker opened in 2019. Have we had a movie that was going to be anywhere near this big and it, it shattered box office expectations? It's been having a huge run, obviously, just now. This movie opened December 17th. So this is a month ago. And just now it's been dethroned at the box office by, by Scream, obviously. It has been huge. And the accolades continue. Because just like they wrote in the email, it has now, as of today, become the number four all-time box office movie domestically ever. During a pandemic... When there are some places, I mean, not many, but some places where theaters aren't open, certain restrictions in other places, and yet it has done this. To get a sense, let's put this into context here. Take a look at this. These are the biggest domestic films of all time. Number one, and honestly, I feel weird saying this, Rob, it's never going to be caught. Star Wars The Force Awakens is never going to be. I, what I is don't that, see, 900 and something? Yeah, million? Star Wars The Force Awakens is at $936 million is the number one all time. Right behind it, well, still a little ways behind it, is Avengers Endgame at $858 million. Behind that is Avatar at $760 million. And now in number four, just passing Black Panther at $700 million, we've got Spider-Man No Way Home at 704 million. And this is where it's going to stay. It's not going to catch Avatar at this point. Um, and I don't, it might get to 1.7 billion worldwide. It may not, whatever. But Rob, I think even the most optimistic of people, the most optimistic people going into Spider-Man, a lot of people thought it could make a billion. I don't think there were a lot of people who would have thought under the current circumstances it could get into the top five domestic of all time, let alone pass Black Panther and sit in number four. Which, by the way, that now means three of the top five biggest domestic box office films of all time are all Marvel films. So, so there you go. But still, it's an incredible accomplishment. And the very fact that even now, Rob, under great circumstances... A movie still pulling in twenty million a weekend, which is what Spider Man made this weekend. A movie pulling in twenty million a month after it opened, that's impressive. And and I just feel like that's a word we've had to use about Spider Man No Way Home so many times. Impressive, impressive, impressive. Now, I feel like the, the gas has almost run out. We we now do see it. It's it's in its waning days now. It's gonna be wrapping up here soon. But it's not gonna catch Avatar, and that's fine. We'll see if it catches the dinosaur movie worldwide or not. But, Rob, I think we're going to have to look back on this for years to come and reflect on this is a movie that performed that well when no movies could live up to their potential. Like, even some movies that have done fairly well, Fast 9 did fairly well at the box office. Uh, a, a number of other films did w fairly well at the box office. But none were able to truly live up to their full potential given the circumstances I think Spider-Man No Way Home exceeded them. Rob, as you look back now, and the way you're going to look back on this movie historically and putting it into context, how impressive is it what it was able to accomplish here? And, and how many more legs, how much more legs do you think it has moving forward? Well, I think, look, clearly the Marvel Cinematic Universe is a juggernaut unlike anything we've seen in Hollywood history. Spider-Man is one of the most beloved superhero characters of all time. 
Uh, we all grew up with him. Everybody grows up with him. I mean, heck, I remember when Spider-Man was on the electric company, you know, when I was in the 70s. And Spider-Man is one of those characters that I think we see, a, everyone, again, sees part of themselves in that Spider-Man character. And it's he's incredibly popular. And this film, and I hate to say it, but there was a gimmick in this film not just all of the villains. Obviously, I think we could say now that we brought in other iterations, or they brought in other iterations of Spider-Man from different iterations of the character, which is now also never been done before. So there's there's a way that they've made these movies fresh and unique for audiences. And I have to say, John, I think the reason this movie is as successful as it is, is it provided audiences with an experience they don't normally get to the point where people are cheering literally cheering some people standing on their feet and cheering not once not like when captain america gets mjolnir i mean there's three or four moments in this movie where where daredevil well matt murdoch shows up where two spider-men show up where the villains show up where if you like these movies i mean even i as an old middle-aged white man with one foot in the grave i felt like a little kid watching this movie i was giddy and it provided an experience at the movie theaters that we don't get a lot of the time but we're always wishing for and i think this movie made us a promise and it delivered and it delivered 200 percent of what we expected it might and, and it, it just exceeded everything in every way and now the number four again let me let me bring up this thing again look at that Look at the company that Spider-Man in the midst of a pandemic was able to join. It is it is past Black Panther. It is up there with Avatar, which is the number one all-time box office movie worldwide. It is up there with Avengers, which is the number two domestic and the number two worldwide all-time. And Star Wars The Force Awakens with a record that I, quite frankly, don't think will ever be broken. I, I, I just can't see that number ever be broken. But at any rate, guys, question is for you. What do you think? about this, about Spider-Man No Way Home becoming the number four domestic film of all time. Are you impressed? Are you not impressed? Were you expecting it? Were you surprised? Whatever you guys are feeling, jump on down to the comments section below and let us know your thoughts.